my name is Carla. I'm a violinist and today I want to show you how to hold the bow and some strategies that you can practice at home to improve your bow hand. So first we're going to start placing the fingers on the bow. We're going to start with the thumb. You see the little space right there? You're going to place it right underneath. Then the index finger goes in the front, middle finger, ring finger together and the pinky finger on the back. Now it's very important that this finger position is well established. Um, you want to feel comfortable with this position and very natural. So you want to practice taking them out, putting them back, taking them out, putting them back. You know, if for instance, I don't put this finger correctly, the pinky finger, or I lift it, boom, this is what happens to the bow. Gravity just pulls and I need to make sure that this finger here, the pinky finger is balancing the bow. So I'm going to do it, boom, boom, boom. I'm going to put pressure, pressure, boom, balanced, perfect. So every finger works together it has to be on the right position so once this is comfortable to you and natural to you we can move to the next exercise okay so make sure this is first well established um, now we're going to do the motion the the paintbrush mo motion so you gotta imagine as if this is the handle and these are the bristles and you're going to do this motion okay you're going to go in the front you can you can go like this okay now the reason why we're doing this exercise is because this is the same movement that you you do the same motion that you do when you play with a bow it's just a little bit more angle to the left but the same motion you see so you can grab the, the, the bow after you you feel comfortable with this you grab the bow and you do the same thing okay so we're gonna focus right now we're focusing only on the wrist so Think about that uh, movement. Okay, now it feels natural, it feels good. We're gonna go and now think about the entire arm. So what happens is that when you play with the bow, when you're using your bow hand, everything moves, everything is in motion. Your shoulder, your forearm, your wrist, your fingers, everything moves, okay? But we first want to make sure fingers are are in the right position, wrist motion is well established. Now what we're gonna do is think about your arm. This arm cannot move backwards, like the elbow, like if you're <laughs> hitting someone <laughs> behind you. Don't do that, okay? It has to be, it has to be linear. This part does not move. So if you wanna practice that, just move, maybe put your, this, your other arm, your opposite arm, hand, grab it so that you cannot do that, okay? Don't, that's very important. Just go like that, linear, okay? Straight. So, so once that's done as well, when the, once the, the wrist on the forearm, you know, is leading, and the wrist is moving well, we're going to think, you know, because sometimes we can get a little constrained and tense, and I want you to think about your shoulder, you know? We don't have to, sometimes we just like get really like tense up. So we, I want you to lose this out a little bit. And think about circular motion, you know, you can go like that. So everything now is in motion together. So once this is comfortable again, you wanna place the bow on the string. We're gonna do open strings, okay? We're not gonna put fingers yet. We're just going to put the bow Put a little bit of pressure on the string and see when I grab my finger. And keep practicing what we just learned, okay? Doesn't have rows in. I have to put my rows in. But that's the idea, okay? That's, sorry. That's the idea. You do open strings. Do open A, open E, and keep practicing like that. Remember that it's very important that the right hand, the bow hand, it's well established, it's comfortable, it's natural. Okay, then we can start putting fingers.